To my knowledge, Thelonious Monk and Wes Montgomery never recorded together, although they were both on Riverside Records or in Keep News label. For some reason, the great producer never brought them together. Certainly, uh, Oren was responsible for boosting their individual careers. Uh, Oren released the incredible jazz guitar of Wes Montgomery, which was the first major release by the Indianapolis native. In the mid-60s, Wes was already a major force in jazz, perhaps the leading guitarist, who unfortunately met an untimely end not long after that. But in the mid-60s, and particularly on Riverside and then A&M Records, Wes Montgomery was really in the forefront. Wes Montgomery was not a narcissistic egomaniac. He was a guy who loved the guitar and loved playing jazz. And he did a tour of Europe in 65 and somehow ended up in a studio in Hamburg with a rather nice lineup of European musicians. You can check out the uh, personnel in the description here. One of whom was the great Johnny Griffin. Now, by the mid-60s, Johnny Griffin was firmly ensconced in France. He was living in a chateau. He was doing a lot of playing all over the continent, including his work with uh, Kenny Clark and Francie Boland, big band. And Johnny Griffin was a little guy. In fact, his nickname was the Little Giant. And he was also an amazingly fast player. But somehow, thankfully, he ended up in that Hamburg studio one day with Wes Montgomery and Ronnie Scott from London, the tenor player whose club is a very essential part of the British jazz scene and has been for decades. And they played a Thelonious Monk composition. Now, Johnny Griffin, I forgot to mention this, did play with Thelonious Monk. In fact, he shared the extended run at the five spot in 57 with Coltrane. They never played together on that gig, I don't think, although they, they made a couple of recordings together. Uh, but uh, for most musicians, especially at that time, Monk was a teacher. And I think both Johnny Griffin and John Coltrane treasured the time that they spent with Monk. Uh, it changed Coltrane's playing. I'm not sure how much it changed Johnny Griffin's playing. But uh, certainly uh, they made some great music together. And here are Johnny Griffin and Wes Montgomery playing Blue Monk. Thank you. 